Good morning everyone. Today in English, let's start a new chapter and the name of the chapter is Daddy's Making Dinner. Before moving on to the chapter, we have a warm-up activity. So let's check the warm-up activity. So you can also open your text and you can see here, tick the things used for cooking. So some pictures are given and you have to tick the things that are used for cooking. So what all you can see here? You can see a fridge, knives, gas stove, cooking utensils, water bottle and a mortar. So what you have to do? You have to tick the things that are used for cooking. Now let's get back to our chapter and we said that this is a poem. So here you can see what is the name of the poem? It's Daddy's Making Dinner. So after the word daddy, you can see a punctuation mark that is apostrophe and the letter S is written and we read this as daddies. So the title is daddies making dinner and this poem is written by Jeffrey Mondack. So he is a poet and who is a poet? A person who writes a poem is a poet. So Jeffrey Mondack is a poet who has written the poem daddies making dinner. And in this poem, the poet says that his father is cooking dinner on that day. So what is dinner? Dinner is the food that we eat at night. So the poet's father is into the kitchen to cook dinner that day. And the poet says that every time his father, when he gets into the kitchen for cooking, so many incidents happen. Like when he makes French fries, it is burnt and the meat loaf falls onto the floor. So, so many incidents happen when his father cooks food. In spite of all these incidents, the poet is very happy. Do you know why? Let's find out by reading out the poem. So, you can also open the text. So, let's start reading. The poet's father is making dinner. Let us read to find out what happens to the food. Daddy is making dinner. I have seen it all before. French fries black and burning and meatloaf on the floor. Daddy is making dinner. The sugar bowl just broke. Fido ate the gravy. The house has filled with smoke. Daddy is making dinner. But I am not one to mourn. Soon he will surrender and go pick up the phone. Daddy made the dinner. Today is my lucky day. Dinners in the trash can and pizzas on the way. So this is our poem. Now let's see the first stanza. So here it's told, Daddy is making dinner. I have seen it all before. So what is the poet saying? Daddy is making dinner. So the poet's father. Poet's daddy is going to make dinner. I have seen it all before. And the poet is saying that he has seen all these things happening before also. French fries, black and burning. So when his father starts cooking food, when he makes French fries, what happens to them? They are black and burning. So the French fries are burnt and it has turned into black color. And meat loaf on the floor. So what is a meat loaf? It's a baked dish made of meat. And what happens to the meat loaf? The meat loaf falls on the floor. So the poet says that when his daddy is making dinner, he has seen so many things before also. The french fries are black and burning and meat loaf on the floor. Let's move on to the next stanza. Daddy is making dinner. The sugar bowl just broke. So what happened when his father is making dinner? The sugar bowl which was there on the cabinet. What happened? That fell down and broke. Fido ate the gravy. Fido is the name of their dog. And Fido came to eat the gravy. So what do you mean by gravy? Gravy is a thick sauce. So that fell on the floor and Fido ate the gravy. The house has filled with smoke. And now because of the french fries has burnt and it has turned black in color. Now the house has filled with smoke. Next answer. Daddy is making dinner, but 
I am not one to mourn. Here mourn means to complain. So daddy is making dinner but I don't have any complaints. See so many incidents are happening when his father is making dinner. But still he doesn't have any complaint. Soon he will surrender and go pick up the phone. So what his father is going to do? Soon he will surrender. That's he's going to be fed up with all these things and he's going to pick up the phone. And why is he picking up the phone? Daddy made the dinner. Today is my lucky day. So the poet is saying, Daddy made the dinner, but today is my lucky day. Dinners in the trash can and pizzas on the way. So what happened to the dinner that his father made? That all has been disposed in the trash can. That is in the dustbin. Because what happened? The french fries that he made is black in color, it has burnt and so many incidents. So what did his father do? He threw all that food that he made into the trash can or the dustbin. So the poet here is saying, so when his father gets into the kitchen for cooking, that is his lucky day. Why? Because his father gets fed up and orders pizza. So it's told dinners in the trash can and pizzas on the way. He's going to pick up the phone and order a pizza. So this is the poem, Daddy is making dinner. So all of you read the poem. Now we have the exercise part. Let's see what we have to do here. We have the reading comprehension, rhyming words, answer these questions, writing, activity and my word bank. So to start with, let's start with the reading comprehension. So you can also open your text. Now what you have to do in the reading comprehension is choose the correct option from the brackets to fill in each blank. So I'll read out the question to you. The first question, dash, mommy or daddy was making dinner. Second one, the dash, french fries or potato chips were burning. Third, the dash, gravy bowl or meatloaf was on the floor. Fourth one, the dash, rice bowl or sugar bowl broke. And the fifth one, Fido or Dido ate the gravy. So pause the video, try to answer this and come back once you have done it. Hope you have done, let's check our answers. The first one, daddy was making dinner. So the correct answer there is daddy. Second, the french fries were burning and the answer there is french fries. Third, the meatloaf was on the floor. So the answer there is meatloaf. Fourth one, the sugar bowl broke. So the answer for the fourth question is sugar bowl. And the fifth one, Fido ate the gravy. Hope your answers are correct. Let's move on to the next exercise. Write the rhyming words used in the poem. Add one more to each row. So we have to write the rhyming words that was used in the poem. So what are rhyming words? Rhyming words are words that end with the same sound. For example, if I say can. So what all are the words that rhyme with the word can? Man, pan, ban are all rhyming words for the word can. So these words end with the same sound. So what you have to do, you have to find out the rhyming words from the poem and you have to add one more to that group. So try to find out, pause the video, try finding out the rhyming words and come back once you have done. Hope you have written, let's check our answers now. So before, floor, shore, the rhyming words. The second one, broke, smoke, poke. Third, mourn, phone, son. Fourth one, day, way, hey. So hope you have written it. Next, we have answer these questions. So for this, you can take your notebook and write down the question answers in your notebook. So what you have to do first, write today's date, write the heading, daddy's making dinner and write the first question. So the first question, what has the poet seen before? Write down the question and in the next line, write the answer. 
The poet has seen his father trying to make dinner before. Let's move on to our second question. What happens to the food that daddy had cooked? Write down the second question. The next line, write the answer. The food daddy had cooked is thrown in the dustbin. Let's move on to the third question. Why does the poet think it is his lucky day? And what is the answer? The poet thinks that it is his lucky day because he is sure that his father would order a pizza in the end. And the fourth one, what does daddy do in the end? So what does daddy do in the end? Daddy gives up trying to make dinner and orders a pizza. So these are the question answers to be written in your notebook. Next, we have the writing section. So look what we have to do here. Look at the pictures. Find the name of these fruits in the word grid. So here in your textbook, you can see some pictures are given and in that grid, names of fruits have been hidden. So what you have to find out? You have to find out the names of the fruits. For example, here you can see A, P, P, L, E and it is apple. So you can circle the word apple. Similarly, find out all the words that's hidden here in this grid. Next, you have an activity after finding out the words, the names of fruits in the grid. What you have to do is write five sentences using the names of these fruits. So what you have to do? You have to write five sentences using the names of these fruits. So this is the activity for you to do. Next, we have an activity in your textbook. See what you have to do there? Help the mouse reach the cheese. Use a color pencil. So what you have to do here? You have to help the mouse reach the cheese here. And you can use a color pencil to draw the way. Next, we have my word bank. Write the new words that you have learned in this poem. So what are new words? You came across when reading the poem you can write down those words here in the space provided and here is the homework for you read the poem again and with this we finish our chapter daddy is making dinner we'll be meeting in the next class thank you mm -hmm.